Welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with your boy Jimmy Hustle. And I do want to apologize. I'm just throwing y'all in the mix um, with no kind of uh, leeway into it. Um, I'm sorry. I couldn't do an intro today. We have been rocking and rolling all week and it's just Tuesday. Um, last night I had a DJ at UNF for the women's basketball team. They did their thing last night um, as they compete against JU. So, uh, big shout out to the UNF women's basketball team. I did that and then I got home, ate, went to bed, and I got up again to do it all over. Um, I loaded up the van and went to work, and now I am off work heading to the event today. Um, I wasn't going to record this one, but I decided to record it because this one is um, a monumental um, event for myself. Because last year, um, I've been DJing for UNF for a while. Thank God for that. And um, one of my goals were, it was to uh, get more gigs with different colleges than just UNF. So um, I've been praying about that for a while. I've been hoping about that for a while. And I've been trying, to, trying, trying, trying my best to get in different colleges and I didn't get any answer back until this year. Um, this year um, I was able to land a gig with a college out in Lake City. Um, I did a, one event for them in January and they absolutely enjoyed it and um, I enjoyed it as well. I did not record it but um, I took pictures but it was good man. It was a very good one. And they do plan on calling me back. So uh, hopefully, if they do that, then I will record that one because we had a very good time last time. And uh, they said the turnout is going to be even better because the students have been talking about it ever since. And um, I'm very excited about that one. So if that one works out, then uh, I'll record that one. I'll let you guys know what college it is. But if you follow me, you will know what college it is. <laughs> But other than that, man, um, this week, um, God answered my prayers for this one because today I am DJing at JU. And um, it's a big deal for me because I've been trying to get in JU for I don't know how long. And um, it's not as easy as it seems with JU. Um, they, they put you through it. Um, they don't play no games. You have to have all your stuff together and um, to even get your foot in the door. So you can't be playing around. They want all kind of documents. Uh, they want insurance and everything else. So if you have stepping, you ain't gonna make it in JU. So to all my DJs, if you ever get a call from JU or somebody trying to get you in JU, you better have your stuff together. <laughs> so uh, fortunately I do. And um, I finally got a gig in JU. So I'm very excited about that um and i'm just yeah i'm just really excited man i can't can't wait so uh today i'm be at ju and it's a gospel event and um where they're gonna have a uh, different uh gospel acts come up uh poetry i think they're gonna have some dancing um praise dances and stuff like that so um i'm not doing a lot of djing i'm basically just being the sound man I'm going to be playing some music at the beginning, and that's about it, man. Um, they really just want me for sound, which is not a problem for me. So, uh, it should be a good night. should be an easy, laid-back night. Um, I just wanted to let you guys see something other than just, you know, the turn-up all the time. You know, we all love the turn-up, but um, all every gig ain't the turn-up, and I don't mind that at all. I like being a part of everything, and um, especially if it got God in it. You believe me? Um, other than that, man, this should be a good day. should be a good night. And um, I'm going to focus on this road. And then next time you see me, I'll probably be setting stuff up and getting everything in order. I have about a good hour to get everything set up by the time I get there. So uh, we're going to be rocking and rolling when we touch down, man. So I'm going to highlight y'all later and focus on this road. Peace.
Heavenly Father, we thank you so much just for all that you've done for us, O oh Lord. And we just pray that if at any point we've been ungrateful or disobedient or rebellious to your word, O oh Lord, we just pray when we come to you in spirit of repentance today, Lord, we just pray that you forgive us for all of our sins, anything that we've done to bring your Holy Spirit. Um, and Lord, with that, Lord, I pray that there's no condemnation amongst your saints. So Lord, I pray that every ounce of guilt and shame that you may have carried into this place, Lord, be released to you, O Lord, for we know that only you can carry our burdens. So Holy Father, tonight we just come together to worship your name, and we pray that your presence is in this room right now, that your heavenly angels are greeting people as they walk in, that they come in, O Lord, that this event tonight shifts the atmosphere on this campus, O God, for the rest of the semester, O God, for we are declaring your name. Not, not um, any of our own individual names tonight, but we are declaring your name, Jesus Christ, on this campus. So Lord, we pray that lives are changed and people are ministered to tonight and reminded of your glory, O oh God. Reminded of your glory. So Lord, we pray that we dance and sing and speak in your glory and in your presence, Lord. And we pray that every single person in the audience feels that um, and that lives are changed. So Jesus, in the name we pray. still find myself doing childish things? When can I become a man if my actions and thoughts are still childlike? When can I become a man if I repeatedly make the same mistakes? When can I become a man if I still do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and, over and expect a different result? The law would consider me a man because of my age, but according to the good book, I am still a child. I still crave attention. I still hunger and thirst. I'm still yet being nourished and spoiled by my parents. I still lust and crave after things of the flesh, but he loves me. That makes all the difference. No matter how far I fall, no matter how turbulent my trespasses, no matter the mistakes and mishaps, no matter the excessive excuses I may be or make, he loves me. Next, we have James, and he's going to be playing the keyboard for us. Yeah. We've been hurting deep down inside. Let me encourage you, it's going to be all right. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. Oh, God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. Sing one of Um, so we're going to be dancing to Looking for You by Kirk Franklin. Up to our feet, praising God, blessing Him. He's worthy to be praised. 
How many of you never could have made it without Jesus? Never would have made it without you, Lord. Through the tests and trials and tribulations, God, I never would have made it without you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. She hit me back and said, hey, um, I know you DJ. I don't know why. Um, I didn't think of you before, but I have an event in two weeks, and I want to see if you can do it. It's going to be at Jacksonville University. I was like, what? I will be there, <laughs> okay? Because I've been trying to get on Jacksonville University campus for so long, and I have not got a chance to do it, and she gave me that chance. So I took it. Um, and they gave me a hard time to, to get on campus, but I still pulled through at the end, and we made that thing happen. So, uh, big shout out to you, Leon. I appreciate you so much. Um, if it wasn't for you, I would not be able to do that. So, I hope to work with you in the future, and I just appreciate you getting me in there. Um, for y'all that don't know, man, um, that's the second time that it's happened to me. Because a lot of people don't know how I am able to get on UNF campus like I am now. And that is because somebody vouched for me. That's the only reason. Somebody told somebody that was over um, an organization and they gave me that chance. And when they gave me that chance, I did my job and I did it to the fullest. And somebody from another organization heard me and another person from another organization heard me. and. It just keeps growing. It, it grew last, uh, last event I was doing. Another person from another organization heard me and they wanted to um, use me and ask me for their, my business card. So that's, that's pretty much how it's working, man. That's why y'all see me on UNF campus so much. So when I got on Jacksonville University campus, I already see the same thing happening already. And I only been there one time. So that's what I'm saying. To God be the glory. That's why I'm so happy about getting on these campuses. Because once you're in there, just do your job. That's all you got to do. Do your job. And everything else will fall into place, man. So to God be the glory, man. Because I'm telling you, though, it's going to take off from there. I'm happy. So everything turned out very, very well. Um, that's why I'm very happy. Everything turned out well. It was nice, simple hour tops and I was out and it turned out very well so that's why I wanted you guys to see that and that's why I had to share this to you guys 
just to let you know everything is not all glitz and glamour and it's not these big bashes man it's actually the events like this this is how it starts with events like this man and it just grows from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode man it was nice simple and quick and um I'm going to see y'all on the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this season two, man, of the DJ Chronicles, man. And I'm out. Peace.